Hey guys, Steve from Oz Tuning here. Today we are going to be showing you how to get your stock file with your RTD interface. If you purchase an RTD from us, this is what comes inside of the box. You have an HP tuner's lanyard, a USB cable, and a USB flash drive. Do not use this flash drive to install the RTD Flasher software though because it may not be the latest version and you will need the latest update. So later in this video, we will guide you through downloading and installing it. You have a quick start guide. Inside of this, you'll see where you can register your device, which I recommend that you do. Um, if you purchase the device from us, it will include credits. And then also inside the box is the RTD interface. This end here plugs into your OBD2 port and the USB cable will plug into this end and into your laptop. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to our website. Just use whatever browser that you normally use. Open that up and just simply go to oztuning.com and that's going to take you to our website. On our website you'll notice in the upper menu uh, you'll see the little icon. Uh, just click on that, that's going to open up all the menus on it. You'll want to go down to the facts page. First section is just some general information on tuning. Go down a little bit below that and you're going to see our support section you're going to want to click on the RTD interface and MPVI2. Now when you click on that, it's going to open up a drop down. You just need to select the first one, how to save your stock file and email it. And just click on that, open it up. And it's going to take you to that section. The first thing it's going to show on that is how to download and install it. It's written here pretty well, but sometimes People just need a visual, so that's why we put together this video. On this, the first thing you need to do is download the RTD Flasher software. Do not use the uh, USB drive, flash drive that came with the kit. Uh, more than likely, that has an out of date. Uh, so that's why we left a link on this page that goes directly to HP Tuner software. This will ensure that you have the latest RTD Flasher software installed on your computer. Uh, so if you notice, it says RTD Flasher software, it's in blue, uh, that is a hyperlink. So just click on that, and that is going to connect you to HP Tuner's website. And if you notice on the bottom left, it started to automatically download. It's not a big file, so it doesn't really take that long. It's already showing that it's completed. And then once it's installed on your computer, you'll see that where it's, you have the option for open file. And just simply click on that. And that's going to open up the installer. The window will pop up, look like this. It'll say, welcome to the setup wizard for the RTD flasher. So let's select next down at the bottom of that window. And the first window you're going to see that pops up is the end user license agreement. You can just read through there. And then once you read all that, just click the box where it says, I accept the terms. And then after that's selected, uh, just go down and click next. And then the next window is going to pop up is the destination folder. Uh, this is where the RTD flasher software is going to be installed on your computer. If you notice the path right here, you see your C drive, program files, HP tuners, and then there's going to be a folder created just for RTD flasher software. So this is where the flasher software is going to be installed on your computer. If you would like to change that, you can make the change right here. Uh, I suggest that you just use the default and then simply just go down and click next. The next window, it says ready to install RTD Flasher. Just simply click the install button on the bottom. Depending on your computer, you may have a window pops up that says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Just simply click yes. And the RTD Flasher will start to do the install. Um, it goes pretty quick. As you can see, mine's already finished. So this window here says completed the RTD Flasher setups wizard. So just click finish at the bottom of that window and you're done. Okay, so the next thing we got to do, we got to locate the RTD Flasher software on your computer. 
If you go down to your windows where your apps are at, down on the bottom left of your screen, just click that, it's gonna open up. And you're gonna go down, there's a folder created that says HP Tuners. So let's scroll down until you find it. Uh, once you see it, just click on it, it's gonna have a drop down. And in that drop down, you'll see the RTD Flasher software. So just click on that, that's gonna open up the software. And then once the software opens, you'll notice that it's not complicated at all. Uh, there's just a few things in the top menu. You'll see file under that one is where you open and close the files. Edit, that one is grayed out, so you will not be using that one. Flash, uh, this is where you're going to flash our tune onto your truck or vehicle. And the next one is the help section. So what we want to do next, uh, if you go back to our facts page, it says the next thing that we need to do is we need to connect the RTD interface to our laptop. So what you're going to do is you're going to be using the, the supplied USB cable that came with your RTD. One end goes into the RTD, the other end simply goes into your laptop. The next thing we want to do is you want to apply the credits that you purchased with the tune to the device. They are assigned to your device, but until you physically go into their software and sign into HP Tuners to sync your device with them, the credits will not be added onto your device. So that's real easy to do. What you want to do is you want to go up to the help and you click on that and there's an option it just says resync interface and just click on that and it's going to connect to your interface. Uh, you'll see the window pop up. There may also be a firmware update for your RTD. Uh, there might be a window that pops up that will update the firmware to the RTD. If that's the case, uh, just follow the prompts. It only takes about a minute. And then once your credits are applied, just simply close this window and your resync is completed. And now it's time to save your stock file. Now you want to be in your vehicle with your laptop and with a really good Wi-Fi connection. Before you do anything, you want to make sure you turn all your accessories off. If you have the automatic headlights, turn it in the off position. If you got the AC, make sure that's off. Turn your radio off because any kind of power drain could cause complications with reading your tune. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to connect your RTD interface into your OBD2 port. When you plug it in, make sure it's firmly in place and the power light is on. And then you're going to use the supplied USB cable to plug into the RTD and then into your laptop. Once you get that done, open up the RTD flasher software. To find it, go down to the bottom left of your screen to your start. Look for the folder HP Tuners. And there you will open that up and find the RTD flasher software. Once that's opened up, you want to turn your vehicle to the on position, but you do not want to start it. In this truck, you click it once and then twice. We are now in the run position, but the vehicle is not running. And then the next step, we want to read your stock file. To do that, go up to your icon for the read the vehicle, and you will click on that. Click read. As you can see, this is going to be about 20 minutes for it to do the read. Now, you will see a lot of dash lights flashing. You will hear a lot of beeps occasionally, uh, but that's nothing to be alarmed about. Now, when it gets to the end, just follow the prompts. It's saying to turn the ignition off, wait three seconds, and turn the ignition back on and click OK.
And then it's asking you to save the file. It should automatically go to HP Tuners, Logs and Tunes, then just name your stock file, simply stock file, and click save. And that's it. You are done. The next step is you're going to want to email us the stock file with your order number to tuning at tuningbyoz.com and then go back to the website, go to the tune form and fill that out and we'll be sure to get your tune out just as quickly as possible.